Welcome back to another Infinite Flight Air Traffic Control tutorial. My name is Tyler with Flying Development Studio and today we're talking about ground control. If you're new to ground, I recommend that you open the command list for ground control just so that you're familiar with where all the instructions are that you'll be using. So we're going to go ahead and start our session here at Kahului Airport in the Hawaii region. Now if you're working tower or ground, it's a good idea to scan your runways, taxiways, and ramps whenever you first start a session so that you're more familiar with the layout in any existing aircraft. The next thing you want to do is determine the runway in use. The goal is to have aircraft departing and landing into the wind. So remember, the runway heading is always to, so heading 2360, and the wind direction is always from, so from 360. So a quick way to determine the runway in use is find your wind direction, and then from your available runways, find the runway heading that is closest to your wind direction. So if you have wind from 350, then 36 would be a great option because the runway is heading 360. To start this session, we have November 160 here, Whiskey Papa requesting pushback. Now, the important thing to remember with pushback is that not all aircraft are going to require pushback based on their location and the type of aircraft. So your Cessna 172s, Spitfires, etc., they're not going to require a pushback. And sometimes even aircraft with those capabilities may not need it. Depending on their position, they may be able to just pull straight forward. Okay, so the Spitfire has just requested the taxi, and as we mentioned, Spitfire, much like other props in Infinite Flight, do not have pushback capabilities. So we're going to go ahead and taxi on runway 05, which helps us spread traffic since we have other aircraft near runway 02. So New Zealand has requested pushback, and we have no other aircraft requesting pushback, so we're going to go and give it to them. And the next person calling us is Wizz Air. So we're going to go ahead and give that pushback as well, because there's no conflict here. The next thing I want to talk about is give way commands. So we've just had the citation that we originally gave a pushback to, He's ready to taxi, but as you can see, there's an aircraft, the Spitfire, passing left to right. So we're going to go and tell him, give way to aircraft on your left. And that lets him know that he's following that aircraft and then not pull out in front of him. Next, we're going to tell the Spitfire to cross runway 02. So we've checked our radar. We don't see anyone on final, and there's no one on the runway. So we're going to go and give him that crossing. After that, we'll talk to the Citation, tell him to taxi to runway 05 along with a crossing instruction, and now we're done with those two aircraft. So as you can see here, Air Canada has requested a pushback, and he's pretty well separated from others, so we're just going to go ahead and tell him to push back as well. Okay, so to fast forward a little bit, we have the Spitfire and the Citation are crossing runway 02, and Wizz Air is called up ready to taxi. Now, because he's already facing runway 05, it just makes sense to taxi him to that runway, rather than make a 180 on the taxiway. We have two other aircraft taxiing to the same runway, so I hope you all are paying attention and recognize a conflict that's coming up, and we'll talk about it shortly. Next, New Zealand has called up ready to taxi, and because the Air Canada is pushing back in front of him, we'll go and tell him, give way to aircraft ahead. Next, we can give the taxi instructions. So Air Canada is ready to taxi, so we tell him taxi to runway 02. New Zealand is following him because he's been given that give way instruction. So here's the potential conflict that I brought up earlier with Wizz Air and the Citation that are going to be head-on. So we're going to tell Wizz Air to give way to the aircraft ahead so that he slows down or holds position to follow the Citation. Now the next aircraft is Redwood 818, highlighted on your screen. He's requesting pushback and we're going to tell him to hold position because we have Air Canada and New Zealand who are heading to runway 02. Now the next aircraft, American 787, we can go ahead and give him a pushback because there's no aircraft behind him, and let's keep the flow moving. So as seen here, the citation is well out of the way and no conflict, but Wizz Air has stopped, so we're going to go and tell Wizz Air to continue taxi. Kahalawi Ground, American 1375. Okay, the Spitfire has just requested a frequency change while holding short. So if we remember from the taxi instructions, it says contact tower when ready. So I'm going to go to miscellaneous messages and send a frequency change already sent. So my message to you is this. 
Got it? Okay, good. So we're moving on. Let's get back to the aircraft that we're requesting pushback. Air trap control is on a first come, first serve basis. So although we've had the 777 request pushback, we're going to go and give pushback first to Redwood 818 who is waiting for New Zealand and Air Canada to pass. So we're giving pushback, and the next thing we're going to do is respond to American 1375. We're going to go and tell him to hold position because we still have American 787 pushing back directly behind him. Next, we'll go back to our 777. And we'll go ahead and tell him to hold position as well, because that's going to be a potential conflict with Redwood 818. Delta X-ray Juliet 17. The next thing I want to talk about is extremely important for ground controllers. You need to always be aware of runway incursions. If an aircraft is beyond the whole short line, they are considered to be on the runway. So many times we think of a runway incursion to look a lot like this, when in reality, it can look just like this. So if we look from the pilot's perspective, his nose gear is just barely beyond the line, but he is still considered to be on the runway. So please make sure that you're extremely careful, pilots. All right, the last thing I want to talk about is aircraft taxiing to park. So here you see the Spitfire has just exited the runway. Now it's extremely important that when you exit the runway, you pull past the hold short line. So as you can see there, he was still technically on the runway. Now he's contacted me requesting taxi to park, so simply tell them taxi to parking. Now keep in mind they may need a runway crossing, so just have some situational awareness. Well, that's all for today. So for more tutorials, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, and don't forget to visit community.infiniteflight.com. I'm Tyler with Flying Development Studio, and thanks for watching.